You just got your new T3 flat iron. Now let's set it out together. First things first, this flat iron has nine heat settings, which is fantastic because that means there's the perfect heat setting for your personal hair. What I love about this tool and what makes it so, so incredible is it takes into consideration your individual hair type, right? Your hair texture and your desired styling results. And it assigns you the perfect heat setting for your hair type and desired style. I'm gonna go ahead and press and hold the power button to turn on the tool. And it takes just a few seconds and then my tool turns on. Now I need to input my hair texture. Now, this is speaking to how thick each individual strand of hair is. And this is the biggest driver for how much heat we need to style our hair. It's really easy to diagnose. You want to grab a single strand of hair. It's always the hard part, just grabbing one. You want to make sure it's a clean strand of hair. If there's product on your hair, it can tamper with our results. And essentially, run that single strand of hair through your index finger and your thumb. Now, if you can't really feel it and you can't really see that individual strand of hair, you have fine hair. If you can feel it, but it still feels smooth and you can start to see that individual strand of hair with your naked eye, you have medium textured hair. Now, if you can really feel it and even start to feel the texture and bumps on that hair and you can definitely see it, you have coarse hair. I have fine hair, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and input. I'm just going to press that power button to toggle through the texture settings until it's on fine hair, which it is. Now we're gonna wait about three seconds and the tool's gonna to go ahead and heat up. Now the heat setting that it's on right now is going to be the optimal temperature to straighten your hair. Now if you wanna use this tool to curl your hair, we wanna go into curl mode. And we simply do that by pressing and holding the curl button. And it takes just a few seconds. We're gonna see that curl mode button illuminate and you're gonna notice your heat setting decreases. Once the tool heats up, you are ready to curl your hair. Now let's say you want to reset this. You're like, ah, I put in the wrong settings or for whatever reason you wanna change it. You're gonna to wanna to press and hold the power button and the curl button at the same time, the tool's gonna to turn off. When you turn it back on the next time, you'll be able to re-input those settings. Now let's say you want to use the tool on manual mode. Double click the power button and then we can go ahead and press the button once to simply change our heat input. There you have it.